We begin at the end, because this time, the end tells you everything you need to know about what came before that in the courtroom today, where Donald Trump was called the orange turd repeatedly by Stormy Daniels and by his own lawyer. That's right, that's how Donald Trump's day went today. The woman he has paid more money to than any woman he hasn't married, criminal defense attorney Susan Necklace, repeatedly called her client Donald Trump the orange turd on what she thought was an effective cross-examination of Stormy Daniels. So imagine Donald Trump sitting in that courtroom today, slumped in his chair, leaving his eyes closed for long stretches, being forced to listen with eyes closed or eyes open to one of his criminal defense lawyers on whom he has lavished money, money provided by his political contributors. Listen to her repeatedly call him the orange turd. And Donald Trump is, of course, the most vain human being who has ever entered that courthouse. But his colossal vanity combined with his even more colossal stupidity leaves us unable to tell what he was experiencing. A normal person couldn't be more humiliated. Donald Trump? Was that the first time he's heard himself referred to as the orange turd? His lawyer was doing what he ordered her to do, which was keep Stormy Daniels on the witness stand as long as possible in the Trump belief that simply minutes on the witness stand count as somehow scoring points against Stormy Daniels. The orange turd landed an hour into a belabored cross-examination by Susan Necklace that was repetitive, tedious, and almost entirely irrelevant. At 10.20 a.m., high-priced lawyer Susan Necklace said to Stormy Daniels, quote, isn't it a fact that you keep posting on social media how you're going to be instrumental in putting President Trump in jail? Answer, show me where I said I would be instrumental in putting President Trump in jail. Question, all right, Ms. Necklace, if we could show the witness J43, please. Question, do you recognize that? as your post? Answer, yes. Question, and I don't see the word instrumental or jail. Ms. Necklace, blow it up a little bit more. Susan Necklace then shows the post on all of the screens in the courtroom for the jurors to see and for the spectators to see and for Donald Trump to see. And then she says, quote, you were responding to the post, someone else's post there. Answer, yes. Someone calling me a human toilet. So I capitalized on the joke. Question, the other post, Michael Cohen and Stormy Daniels, a.k.a. the human toilet, are their star witnesses, right? Answer, yes. You said, exactly, making me the best person to flush the orange turd down. Answer, yes. So... Susan Necklace brought the orange turd into the courtroom and kept it there. The questioning about the orange turd went on and on. Stormy Daniels said, quote, I don't see instrumental or jail there. You're putting words in my mouth. Question. So when you said you were the best person to flush the orange turd down, you weren't saying you were going to be instrumental in causing him to be convicted of a crime? That was not what you meant? Answer, no. Question, what does that mean? Answer, I'm pretty sure this is hyperbole. If somebody calls me a toilet, I can say flush somebody. See how that works? Now, trying to explain a joke to a lawyer in court is always pointless. Question, you said you were going to flush President Trump? Answer, I didn't say President Trump. It says orange turd. So if that's what, what's interpreted by you, question, what do you mean? Answer, I don't know what I mean. Question, you have no idea? Answer, I'm also not a toilet, so it's all... I'm asking you whether you knew what you meant when you said an orange turd. Answer, yes, I do. Question, what did you mean? Answer, I meant I'm not a human toilet, so if they want to make fun of me, I can make fun of them.
Question, you don't want to admit you meant Mr. Trump? Answer, I absolutely meant Mr. Trump. Question, why did you say no? Answer, it doesn't say instrumental and putting him in jail. And so it went with Susan Necklace repeatedly pretending to quote things that she wasn't quoting and getting caught by the witness, Stormy Daniels, who then proved that Susan Necklace had mischaracterized what she was presenting to Stormy Daniels. And Stormy Daniels did not spend one minute in law school learning how to do that.